What is up, everybody? Oh, I held my, my, my turn on button for too long on my mic and about just sc completely screwed up that intro. Welcome, everybody. Good afternoon. I hope you guys are having a fantastic Saturday. <clears throat> uh, I finally have the time to sit down and stream. Like, this is why I'm really enjoying Saturdays now. I'm like forcing time for both the stream and coding projects. Like, I can actually get work done. It's like a Christmas miracle. Yo! <clears throat> I, I, I love the data dev. It's a it's data dev. It's a great name. Hello, welcome to you. Tacoma Sack, what is up? How are you doing? How are you doing? How is your Saturday treating you? I actually got up early on a Saturday. However, I didn't get up as early as I wanted. I, I fought the alarm clock for about 45 minutes to an hour. TypeScript Tea Time, welcome to you, my friend. How are you doing? But yeah, I fought the alarm clock for like an hour, just ignoring it, just being like, nah, man, we'll get back to you later. Nah, we'll get back to you later. And then like I had like other alarms mixed in so that if I were to skip it for an hour, they start like repeating like every three minutes to get my ass up. And that's what finally did it at around like 1030. But I don't know, man, the weekends, like last weekend, like the long weekend, oh man, I slept in so bad. Besides the day we streamed, Sunday, the next day, oh man, that was, Sunday I literally slept, played video games, and did laundry. I was productive to an extent, but like, I didn't touch the project, I didn't do anything besides like cleaning. <clears throat> but let's get to it, guys. So... We are working on uh, MGRC, and if you guys do not know what I am referring to, there is a little blurb there once Quirk wakes up. But what the monthly, uh, what the MGRC project is, is uh, the monthly game release calendar. Basically, um, I want to keep video games in our stream, even if we only do it like once or twice a month, and I needed a first project. And BG and I, we run into this issue quite often, where we're like, what are we going to play? Or a game comes out and we're both like, how the f did we miss that? Like, how did we not know this was coming out? So we're trying to solve that, that problem with this. And it being my first project, it uh, kind of kills, you know, multiple birds with a singular stone. And that stone is me. But the idea of it is, is we're going to pull once a month a list of games that are going to be coming out the following month. So what, what's, it's currently, what, uh, no, da, 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 September 10th? So hypothetically, if we had this thing up and running today, we would uh, pull all of the games that are being released in October, generate the list, and then our followers and subscribers are able to vote, and the game that per uh, you know, performs the best in the, uh, in the voting is the game that we will do a premiere of, and we'll do a big stream on it, and we're also thinking of possibly doing, like, you know, YouTube review videos, including with it. So, you guys will have a direct uh, hand in deciding what content we're doing. And last week, we we fought... The, basically, last week was this. We did some other things, don't get me wrong. Like, we, we got a lot done, but this was the big... The big kahuna that was really tripping us up. And basically what this is, it was just getting the, uh, figuring out how to do the Axios, uh, response through Nest. That was our, our biggest challenge. And Nest, you know, gives us the HTTP service and it gives a lot of, there's a lot you can do with it, but like we, we, we didn't need all of this. In fact, I'm just going to comment that out for right now, but that can probably, we're, we can probably, it's part of the, the cleanup that we need to do today and get rid of that. But basically what we did here is, well, I guess we did use the, I guess we did end up using the HTTP service, didn't we? Yeah, forget what I just said. We did end up using it. I thought we were going directly into it, but yeah, well, I guess we were just grabbing the, yeah. We're still using the HTTP service. Um, actually, if we pull up their docs, I'll show you where where this comes from. Uh, Nest, JS, uh, yeah, whatever. Well, let's go here. Documentation. 
I believe it's under their recipes. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Oh no, Prism's under recipes, which we will get to later. Um, oh boy. I'll just do ACA, HTTP service. Where are you? No. Using Axios directly. That's actually that's exactly what we need. Yeah, so this is basically what we did. All right, well, <clears throat> and what this does is basically, long story short, this is what's giving us uh, the the data that we're going to need uh, for the database. So let's go ahead and just get everything up and running. We'll show you what it, what it does. So uh, let us... Uh, is anything running in Docker right now? Is the... Ooh, yeah, because you can't spell container right, Atoto. I don't know why the word container absolutely eludes my fingers, but it does. All right, so let's go npm uh, run db dev restart. One of the scripts that we've got composed in our program here. Here we go. Uh, Docker container ls. Yep, it's up and running. Um, I feel like my face might be blocking that little bit of code there, so we'll pull that up. Uh, what did we just do? We just got our DB running in the container, so we need to uh, npm run start dev. Come on, fingers. There we go. There we go. We're typing. And everything's working. Let's do uh, npx migrate uh, prisma migrate. That would probably help. Dev. Boom, boom, boom. And we'll go npx prisma studio. There should be nothing in here just yet. Yep, okay. Now, right, chat, we're just making sure everything's still working from last week. Um, we'll use Mr. Postman at the endpoint. Wim bam boom. And there it is. There's the month of October. All right, so today's challenge, chat. Actually, we can probably go pull up Postman and show you a little bit easier. <clears throat> Today's challenge is these are all individual IDs, all right? Go away, console. I don't need you. So these are all these individual IDs for individual games, and the idea of what we're going to try to do today is we're going to basically create a game service it's going to be able to comb through these or take take an individual ID and then they're going to uh, ping out to Raji. I wonder if I can search by ID. Nope. Okay. But regardless, the whole idea of it is, is whatever that ID is, um, let's say it is Stray. It's going to pull all the pertaining information that we need, which I'm pretty sure we've already typed out in our gameless service already. Data result. Yeah, which we're basically going to copy this. It's going to give us all of this information here. And um, that's how we're going to be able to generate uh, the front end. So... Um, Hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll need to create the Prisma functions today. Or, yeah, we're going to use... We're actually going to have to clean this up because this was our initial thing and it's going to get gutted. But what we're going to want to do is we're going to do... We're going to be able to pull from our database and then we're going to want to be able to call to raw G with the game ID and get all the information back. So, uh, I think that's the plan.
And, you know, hopefully not break anything along the way. Fingers crossed. All right, so... I guess first things first, we'll, we'll worry about cleaning up later. That's, that's slow and tedious. Let's actually hop into using game service to actually grab from our database. Plan approved. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm glad we can, I'm glad we got a, we got a, we got a second opinion on there. Thank you. All right, so what does game service do right now? Does it do anything? No, nah, I'm pretty sure we gutted this all out to what we didn't need. Um, yeah, let's clear you out. And we deleted one too many. Okay. So we have the Prism service, HTTP service here. Uh, the HTTP service we're probably going to need to call when we get asked for the one particular thing from... Uh, So how do we want to do this? I guess we'll do the Prisma portion first because we're going to need data to actually give to Raw G, right? So good day. How are you doing? So <clears throat> I was all right. So right there, geez. So people, Steve, um, I'm doing well, my friend. How are you? I got like a little a little tickle in the back of my throat. Yeah, take two. How are you? No, I'm doing good. My Saturday is not too shabby. Um, got to sleep in a little bit. Deciding if I'm actually going to try to do anything today or not, that's going to be the more of the question. We will see. Alright, so let's go ahead and start trying to work out the getting the data from our database, because that's going to be important here. Um, so let us actually go back to Firefox, and there we go. Recipes. I believe Prisma's in here. I hate how these aren't alphabetical. I understand why they aren't, but like, hmm. Like our Discord, shameless plug, you know, but our Discord, it's not in alphabetical order. It's in like order of precedence of like like popularity and like usage. And I still will like, God dang it, where is that channel? Seeker of the Rings. Howdy. Howdy, howdy. How you doing? Uh, looks like you're already doing something to me. Yeah, I mean, I'm in in the process of of fleshing out this project. And, um... So, here's the thing. We've already got our Prisma server, so we actually created... This is one of the first things we created about two, three weeks ago. So, this is already working, and we know it's working because it works within our gameless controller, or our gameless service, excuse me, uh, for us to have added uh, it in the first place. So, I think we can skip some of this. I guess what we really need to figure out is where... How does it want us to pull from Prisma? Doing good at work. Uh, I have some downtime, so just scrolling Twitch. Well, welcome, my friend. It's, uh... I, I, I have not had downtime at work lately. Honestly, like, like, this week was probably the first time in, like, four months, realistically, where I've been able to, like, sit down and been like... I'm going to actually enjoy some Twitch today while working on these tickets. But by the way, guys, if you guys are new to the channel, I see a handful of first-time chatters. Do take a look at that blurb. We are a co-hosted stream. So, um, you're going to catch me on the weekends, and inevitably we're going to get some night streams going. Um, but during the week, you can catch Black Glasses. He usually starts uh, between like 8 and uh, 10 a.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Times, uh, somewhere in between there during the week. And uh, he's 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 more the brains of the object or the object of the operation. He's been doing this for a, a decade now, and I'm just getting into it. So you gotta get a, a, the best of both worlds. You get a, an advanced approach during the uh, during the week in the mornings, and uh, on the weekends you get the uh, the the beginner level. 
I work in an office for a moving company, and we're getting out of summer and moving into the slow season. Ah, slow season's never fun. The, the office for my company, my main office, uh, the building got sold, and we've got to be out, I think, in like four weeks. So I'm going to go from doing my, my normal day-to-day -day IT work to packing up computers and junk and stuff and, 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 and moving it, I think, for the next week. Which, you know, can't be too mad about it, I guess. All right, so game service. We're going to need to create a new service. This is going to be... Uh, we're going to need to get the game list, right, uh, from the database. So get db list. Man, uprooting the office is never fun. Hopefully you get a cool new space, though. <clears throat> oh, yeah, this is, uh, uh, this is, this is the studio. So we've got, I guess, in, between the two of us in the studio, we have BG's computer, his, you know, his, his main machine, then my machine. We have the streaming computer in the back as well that we're connected to. And then, uh, out in the garage, we have the data center. I don't even know if we have a, a New picture of the data center. Hang on a second. I want to say we do. I want to say it's in the technology channel on our Discord. And yeah, here we go. And out in the garage, we've got the data center. It's running our our fun little bot here, Quirk, who will uh, actually give you guys a uh, well, a little Discord link there. Yeah, we, we, we're, we're nerds. Through and through. Like, we've got, you know, we're always tinkering, we're always building and adding to the I don't, I don't even know what I want to call it. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, no, I've, I, I kind of, I personally fell into kind of a, a perfect solution. I've always been kind of a tech dude, and um, my stream partner, roommate, best friend, he's still not behind me. Um, like I said, he's been in the industry doing coding, you know, uh, programming for over a decade, and it's something I've always wanted to dabble into, and moving out here and doing the stream, and like, we initially wanted to kind of split the stream between like programming and video, and gaming, and, and really like, like do a two two channel that way but i've honestly have kind of just fallen into love with the community and i got a job in it so it kind of led me more into this and yeah and i'm a little obsessed and just trying to absorb it more than just uh, via osmosis like i was before all right so this is going to be git list um This is going to be like a get mini. I, maybe I should go to the actual docs over at Prisma instead of... Yeah, let's go to the Prisma docs real quick. And if we can spell... There we go. Yes, BG has returned. He's going to be in the background just tinkering away today. Indeed. I'm actually just getting back into coding because I wanted to look into making my own bot. See, that's... That's, 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 that's half the fun is just figuring out how to solve your own problems. I've got a cat staring at me. He can't... He wanted up here. And that is where you inevitably fall down the rabbit hole and you just, you know, get deeper and deeper and deeper into the thing. 
And I learned there's loads of stuff that goes into it. I'm basically starting from square <clears throat> one because I've only uh, learned the basics of JS. So, I mean, that's that's all I really know at this point and have filled in the gaps in between here and there. It's actually how I found y'all. I was just looking up JavaScript on Twitch. Well, welcome. Well, seriously, join the Discord, please. Um, and, you know, I think the biggest thing to really go into it is is just don't ever be intimidated. I mean, that's how I'm, that's, that's what I have to tell myself is once it seems like it's overwhelming and it's a lot to kind of take a step back, really break it down and, and just start taking it by piece by piece and eventually you'll figure it out. I mean, that's, that's how I do my job at work with uh, my IT stuff. If I don't know how to fix it, I'll eventually figure out how to fix it through enough Googling and, and tinkering. And, you know, that's where I'm at now. Like, I, you know, half the time I don't know my left to my right when it comes to some of this stuff. And, you know, eventually you get to it. And then you do it enough times, you, you, you remember how to do it and understand how it works. But I'm glad you found us. And if you have any questions, I'll do what I can. I'm older now, but I'm still peeved in my, at my high school. I took computer programming one year, which I learned the bay basics. They cut advanced computer programming because they are only one other guy signed up. Listen, I'm, I'm 32, and I'm just now getting into it, and that was kind of intimidating. You know, I, I, I pretty much like went through a whole court career change, took half, like a, a pave, like cut of half of what I was making, moved out here and was like, screw it. I'm going to, I'm going to learn this thing and die and crawl my way up through it. You know? So, but no, trust me, I'm, I'm, my school didn't even offer programming in high school. Uh, I had a graphics teacher who tried to get me into coding and basically like he was so ecstatic about it. And then was just like, here's the book. And I'm like, Oh, Oh, we're not going to like work on this together. And he's like, no, you got to figure it out. I'm like, okay. And you know, I didn't have, I, I didn't have the mental capacity in high school to be really hunkered down into it. So I just got through the basic stuff of C and was just like, and I'm done. Didn't touch coding again for like another six years and started learning Python. And then the laptop, the only computer I had died. And then I kind of stopped messing with it. And yeah. It wasn't until, you know, really recently where I've dove back into it and it's finally, finally starting to click. Hey, some of the logic stuff will click eventually. You'll be starting to work on something and go, oh, oh God, how did I, how did I remember how to do that? How did I know how to do that? I believe in you. And again, like I said, if you have any questions, please, please ask. Like if, and if I can't help, then we'll find somebody that can. All right. What, what am I, what am I doing? Code examples. We've already got the Prisma service. Yeah, I've already done that. Um, how have I not looked at this yet? Um, I guess post might be a good one for us to look at. All right. Uh, post, uh, post resolver dot TS. That's not what I'm looking for. Oh, you know what? I have been here. Okay. This is kind of similar to what I would need, but this is definitely not what I need. All right. No, I wanted something with using Prisma. Prisma service in this? No, oh, it is. Yeah, right on top. I just skip right over it. Okay, so... This is for creating things. We've already done that. Um, hmm. You know, I, I love, I, I'll give you guys a little, a little insight on how the, um, the whole streaming thing works for me. I get my mind set up on like what we're going to be working on today, how it's going to be doing it and like exactly, you know, the ins and outs and all this. And, and then we sit down and then we start really breaking the project or the problem down and then go, oh shit, 
I didn't think of this problem. Then we got to figure it out. Is, Prima, uh, is Prisma support getting relations by separate queries instead of uh, left join? I'm not entirely too sure. I have barely dabbled into Prisma, so. Denzel, what's up, my dude? Welcome, my friend. How are you? Oh, there you go. You can call each collection and join them yourself. Yeah, BG has actually done... Uh, Quite a bit more with Prisma than I have. Genius Mob, thank you for the follow and welcome, my friend. Alright, this is what we need. To send queries to the database, you need a TypeScript file to execute your Prisma client queries. Create a new file called script.ts for this purpose. Wait, what? Sorry, this isn't going to be the most exciting thing, chat, for me to figure this out, but... You're in for the ride, and I appreciate it. Yeah, we do need to get you an actual pair of uh, black glasses. Some really nice custom black glasses. And I noticed that you're using Prisma Client Generate Types to ensure that the methods are exposed by your service properly typed. Therefore, yada yada. We need to actually that's 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 today's or this week's lesson chat is sitting down and figuring out DTOs for for Nest. Uh yeah, now you can do the same for the post model, blah 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 blah. Create a post, update a post, delete a post. Um, but we want to pull something. This is the search, or for filtered. Create draft, sign up, publish post, delete post. Krypton, welcome, my friend. How are you? Hello. I love all the, like, the fresh faces saying hello in chat today. Welcome, guys. Do me a favor and take a quick little look at, little look at that blurb there, if you guys are new. Give you an idea of uh, what we are as a stream. We are co-hosted, so... You'll pop on here one day and be like, Oh, that's not the dude I saw last time. There's a reason. Uh, let's see. I feel like... Fetch a single post by its ID. Okay, that's something that, like, that's pretty much like what we're going to need to do here, so... Get post by ID, okay. But this is inside the controller, so what is the service coming from? That's one thing about BG and I, like, our friendship revolves around projects. And 
it's interesting because like yeah we're we've always you know we're, we've always been like okay well let's work on this and there's like always you know these this project or this grand idea that we we goal we work towards and this is probably what would you say like project number like four major project number four or five in our friendship and this is the one we've taken the furthest somewhere around there yeah All right, so notice how you're using pres <laughs> BG just said it's like the Tenacious D lyric. Uh, as long as there's a record deal, we'll still be friends. As long as there's a... Yeah, I, that's, I, I love I love the D. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, you you legit like you're not gonna Like you gotta be like right up on this thing to to catch it. Yeah, no, this was the audio system that we have, like that was one of the biggest goals we had as a stream was to get this to where it is. It drove us nuts watching our streams and being like, oh my god, I can, you can hear that, right? Yeah, yeah, so can I, okay. All right, so. Oh, man. There we go. This is what we're looking for. So, get post by ID. I'm working, slowly working towards my first real gaming PC, so looking forward to dealing with uh, audio configuration. Honestly, if you're not streaming, audio is not a big problem. Like, st adding streaming to the mix is where audio is just the biggest pain in the ass. Realistically, if you're just gaming and having fun, you, you really don't, don't need to worry about it. Been a while since I've been here. What you been up to now these days? Well, uh, I am actually getting getting coding done instead of just learning um i mean how long have you been gone from the stream for i mean there there, there could be just a, a a litany of things to update you on uh, da, 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 da. so this is oh yeah this is the controller so i seek posts where post is unique uh Oh, but see, we're not going to be grabbing. Mm. All right, let's look at our database real quick. So it does just have a basic ID. We do have the name September that we can grab from. A few months. What's this current project? So the current project is MGRC. This is my first project, um, and basically the whole concept of it is is we're going to create a generate a front end for the community to vote on which upcoming game for like the following month that's going to be released that we're going to do like a big stream about. So we're going to do at least one gaming stream that is basically curated by the community. And I needed a project, so I decided to build it. Two birds, one stone kind of situation. I'm using Postgres. And um, this is Prisma. As my... Uh... Ooh. Oh, my brain just, like, completely forgot the acronym. ORM. There we go. Uh, yes, thank you. Yeah, yeah, I totally just, like, I saw the acronym in my head, but I think I, like, mixed the letters up. My brain was going ROM. Uh, 
Um, so here, we'll do this here. I, this is my first project, so I'm using Nest as essentially as a conduit to teach me how things are supposed to be wired up while whilst simultaneously learning Nest at the same time. So it's, it's been interesting. I can move these around. Can I delete individual ones of these? I can. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm just going to have to figure out how to do that. Um, again, as being my first project, using uh, Prisma has just basically made interacting with the database a whole lot easier. Like, um, if I'm not mistaken, like this whole like view right here would be something, something additional you would have to do. So like, BG, I hate to bug you on that. Prisma Studio, like, what, what is that called exactly? I forget what that is. You know what it is, though, right? Development client. Okay, yeah. But, I mean, for me, again, it being my first time building something like this, being able to easily see the data like this has helped me tremendously, like, understanding, like, how everything moves around. Well, there we go. Unless you want the best performance, then write your own queries, which makes sense. Just cut out the middleman at that point. All right, so we're trying to grab this list. Um, how do we want to grab it exactly? I guess by ID? Or would you want to do it by name? I think grabbing it from the name would make more sense. We just have to make sure that we... Make sure that the name has the year in it as well. I don't know. I don't know how this is going to be the best approach for this. Google Bandito. Welcome. How are you liking this? It's like I said, this is my first first venture into it, so. Got banned from Anthony Codes. I described why Python package managers won't reach other language package managers, and he took offense to that. You know, um, these these things happen. Oh, no, 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 there's never a stupid question. Like, seriously, like, I... The chat interaction... Here's the thing. There's been many times somebody's asked me a question, and I've gone, I don't know, and then we find it, figure it out, and then, you know, we're all better for it, so don't ever apologize for it. Say, see, sociable Steve has it. It sounds like, I know it's that, that cliche, but it's a good cliche. The only stupid question is the one you don't ask. I ask a lot of questions. You can ask BG, it drives him nuts. Uh, okay, so...
I just want like the full documentation, not just the getting started. Concepts. Guides. Guides. The seeding of the database is something that we're going to actually have to do and look into in the future as well. Oh, da, 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 da. Yeah, none of this is what I'm looking for. I'm just trying to figure out how to query my own database with Nest. Oh, da 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 da. Screw it. Well, let's just start having fun with it. So my brain is working off the idea is that we're going to take this and kind of make it towards what we need to. <laughs> yeah, using Prisma. Oh no, it's good. It's good. I will I will take I will take suggestions when 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 needed. And again, I want you guys to know something here. This is my first, like, project outside of making just a lame-ass static website, which I did years ago. This is my first fear, like, just dance into it. So uh, there's a lot that is uh, an absolute unknown to me. Da-da-da-da. Uh, Post where unique input. Um. And I guess I'm sorry, guys. My I need to I need to see how this is all coming together here for my brain to understand where why things are the way they are here. You mm -hmm, me? No. Oh. Twitch puts. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. I find the fact that you ignored my stupidity a good sign that you were a wise streamer. <laughs> listen, listen. There's... <laughs> BG's just breaking and laughing in the background there. There, there. there is, there is, like, the... Coming from a stance of being just... Honestly ignorant and, and wanting to know, as opposed to stupidity. Now, we've dealt with stupidity. That was not stupidity. That was, that was, uh... That's pretty good, though. I appreciate it. It's experience. Honest to God, like, I, I, it's one of those things, like, when we first started doing this, like, dealing, like, with people on stream was easier for me, I think, than BG, because I was used to, like, bartending and dealing with just drunk people. Yeah, he just, he just in the background goes, yeah, it took a lot for me. Like, I was so used to just being able to be like, nah, man, we're gonna defuse this. And we'll make everybody laugh, and if you continue to be a jerk, you're kicked out. I call them a bouncer, which is one of my mods, and they hit that band hammer, and you're done. It's the same thing. Like, I use the uh, the bartender like mentality when it comes to chat. I know you are. Well, I'm on confrontational too, man. Like. I wouldn't say I'm a very confrontational soul. And he's like over there like, mm. I mean, I guess, hey, you're right. No, I'm the one that's like, like, like the 
did he just say? And you're like, dude, just chill out. I'm like, no, I'm going to go over there and say something. Recursion core. Thank you for the, uh, the prime subby. Yeah, you're right. VG's like, you're not going to go over there and say something. You're like, I'm going to go over there and make that person feel stupid. And it depends the circumstances. Random question, since you mentioned bartending, did you have a favorite shot or drink you like to make? Just a question. Uh, ye so my favorite, like, shot to take personally is kind of a neat one. It's called an Irish breakfast. And it's literally... Um, half Irish whiskey, half butterscotch schnapps. You shoot that, then you chase it with some orange juice, and it tastes just like you ate pancakes and had orange juice. It's the most amazing thing ever. But the, my favorite drink to make... That's a tough one to think about. I'm a big fan of, like, uh, the classics, man. I love, like, making, like, a good old-fashioned and doing it proper. Or good Manhattan, and then like the variations around that. Or, honest to God, probably one of my favorites is to make a true whiskey sour, whiskey sour amaretto sour with the with the raw egg white, and make the drink fluffy. Hmm. But that was uh, that was that was many moons ago. Now all I do is just hit the Soda Stream button five times and mix some vodka or whiskey into a glass, and I'm good to go. Dicerono and fresh orange juice. I've never done that, but that does actually sound good. That's not how they serve breakfast uh, in Ireland, by the way. Yeah, I kind of figured it so much. You gotta get the uh, you gotta get the blood sausage and beans. I don't go to bars often, but when I do, I love asking the bartender for three of the four of their favorite. Oh yeah, that's if you find a good bartender, they'll they'll indulge you on that. And then they'll have fun with it. And then half the time you ask them what their favorite shot is, they'll make it and take one with you. Depending on where you're at. Alright, so this is going to be... Okay, I see what's happening here. Alright, so from... We need to import from the Prisma client. It's exactly what we need to do. So let's take a look at our schema real quick. We're calling this game list. So uh, back to the service. Import. Come on, fingers. Game list. From and it's uh, how do we do it again? Mm, at Prisma client. That's right. All right. There we go. Come back down here. I think the music died. One second, chat. Oh, thank you, BG. You were you answering that question? Okay. <laughs> I I heard him mumble, and I think he he was answering your question. Yes, he had a great uh, he had a great time. How? I'm, I'm, it, but do you see the thing that it blocked? It didn't block hard on. It blocked the word. And excuse me, and it, and it, 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 it didn't block boner either. It blocked the word thing. I, uh, yeah, yeah. It blocked the word thing. Not, not hard on, not boner, but thing. That's. That's amazing. <laughs> no thing for stream chat. Um, yeah, that was okay. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't even answer the question. I didn't even. You know what's funny is I don't even think I read the full thing. I got so just uppity about chat. Hello. Do you ever think? about Richard Stallman and get a hard on? 
It sometimes happens to me, and I don't know why, if it's weird or not. The only thing that makes the boner go away is looking at legacy C code. It always helps. You got BG just chuckling in the background over here. <laughs> I mean, I think it's the beard that does it for me. And why do you want the boner to go away? That's the question. That's the real question. You wave that flag proud. All right. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, what do we end up? Shit. Put in Richard Stallman here. Not copying the damn thing from the, from the schema. That was for you. You made that happen. Alright, so gameless is what we wanted to work with here. Because I keep thinking about it in public places. I mean, jacket or hat. I mean, think about it. Like, like if you're like in an indoor public place and you need to take your hat off and you have nowhere to put it, it's, it's probably the most polite place to keep it. <laughs> I just, just in pictured, just, just envisioned uh, somebody walking around with their own hat rack. Thank you. This stream is this stream is devolving quickly. All right, we're just going. Sorry, chat. I'm basically just seeing how this is set up and seeing where things are breaking to see how this is all supposed to work with one another. Seeker, thank you for the follow. <laughs> Carry the handbag. Yeah, I'll see you. It's, do you would you like me to carry your purse for you? What is wrong with y'all? It's the internet. Yeah, you're right. Because the internet. Hmm. All right, yeah, chat. Let's. I'm sorry, my brain is sitting here trying to piece this together as we're tinkering away. Game list. Where I don't know, so I think I honestly I think I'm looking at this the wrong way. I really do. Um Or I'm probably looking at it right and I'm just not thinking about it right.
But this is the fun of Saturdays, guys. You show up with uh, with some dude that's, you know, knows about half of what he probably needs to know to get this to work, and the other half is uh, us tinkering away. Trotsky boy, thank you for the follow. Welcome, my friend. Self-taught first, then I got my PhD. That's what's up. I like that. That's some cool. That's some cool ass goals, actually. You know, what's funny is I've always, always had the idea of like retiring and like teaching, like as a professor. I'm not like high school level crap. I don't think I could deal with high schoolers. I could barely deal with high schoolers when I was in high school. Steven, you saint. Thank you. And and the 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 subby, the gifted sub went to our good friend the Ida Allen. Uh the Ida Allen, are you are you are you lurking out there? Uh, by the way, guys, the Ed Valens, another fantastic streamer on Twitch. If you guys are in into the stuff you're seeing here, you can get some more there. Come on now. Oh, I did that shout out wrong. That's why. No wonder it didn't work. Boom! There we go. And another gifted subby. By the way, uh. Ricardo, welcome to the party. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, bud. I do appreciate you. How the hell are you? You been doing all right? Yeah, merry, merry early Christmas. Very merry early Christmas. Ooh, da, 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 da. That's not what I was looking for. There we go. All right. It's I, I just I you know it, like I said I realized something that I I get here and I realize I've never actually had to pull data from my database before, and that's what's racking my brain right now with Prisma. Uh, let's look at the user here. Um, actually, let's look at where they're using user and the controller. Touche. I guess. I guess the. If if you want to break down the semantics of self-taught, but I guess what you know, it's the meaning of I didn't have the direct mentor showing me the ropes of the direction I should go, whereas I, I read the book myself. Semantics, man. I took the steps to find the information. I opened the browser and I typed into Google. I mean, that's half the battle sometimes. Post service dot posts. So this isn't the controller. That seems fairly simple enough. Um, let's come up back up to posts again. Update post, create post. Posts. Here we go. Oh, okay. And where is published that we saw down there?
Yes, Google is my mentor. If 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 that wasn't like a great like just advertisement for Google and Alphabet, that'd make a great T-shirt. Hey, listen, the success of last week's stream came from chat and a, and 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 the inspiration from a snippet of code from a shady website. So you know these things these things happen. Kenjito, thank you for the follow. Welcome, my friend. All right. Um, all right, let's come back up to here. Bro, I don't know why my brain is just absolutely just like. You know the sound like a hard drive, like a rotary hard drive makes when like it's breaking and it's just the clicking? That's like what's happening in my noggin right now. I can just hear it. <laughs> yeah, it's just, just. Just scratching the disc, dog. Just. Um. A loose disc, but I would be scratching the disc while that's happening, right? Possibly. So it's a tomato tomato situation here. <laughs> That's right. Because of the postal service. All right, so if you guys are are old enough to know the band, the postal service, um, BG's in the background talking about their music video about uh, one of the which for what song is it? Such great heights. I think you might be right, but um, apparently the music video is uh, like in a, like a manufacturing of like like a like a hard hard drive manufacturer. And that music video made him obsessed with the manufacturing of um, of hard drives. And yes, you gotta love shady websites. They 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 do the trick from from time to time. Is is that the music video? I can't click it. Well, music might start playing, and then like the whole stream just gets shut down by the police. I explore relation queries with data with Prisma. One of the main features of Prisma Client is the ease of working with relations. In this section, you learn how to you create a user and post record. And then, okay, uh, no, I don't. So we're not necessarily finding a find mini. We need almost like a find unique to grab the one list. Um, I feel like there's something exactly I need, but I can't seem to find it. Roberto, thank you for the follow, my friend. Here we go. Here we go. This is what we're looking for. Maybe. Just maybe. Uh, 
Turco, yes, uh, MGRC. Thank you, BG, for that. That is the, uh, it's my first project ever. And, um, yeah, basically we're wanting to use uh, Raji to generate a, a page for the community to vote what game we're going to be playing uh, and doing like a premiere for, like uh, on its release, once a month. The too long didn't read, if you will. Honestly, the best too long didn't read this week was on our Twitter with the best gif ever. Another little shameless plug. Hang on. Let me see if I can find it. If you guys are on the Twitters. All right, Chad, you ready for it? Oh, come on, open the... There we go, chat. We were playing games with Chris the other night. And this happened. <laughs> I love the fact you could see him verbally just say, What the f right before the tumble yeah his poor chair just completely right there right here is where it breaks <laughs> that's that's the best too long didn't read from this week listen bg and i were broken laughing denzel are you still you still out there in chat it was <laughs> so you could audibly just hear clunk as like the whole main center of his chair broke and he was now just pivoting on like the single like you know vertical pipe or like a uh, not pipe but a uh, hydraulic and as soon as he turned it went it went from underneath him Okay. So I think we're going to want to do something a little bit more here then, guys. I think we're probably going to do it by, instead of by ID, by name. But this is just SEP, and we would need like the year as well. So, I think what we need to do is we need to go back to our gameless controller. Um, actually, you know what? No, we need to update the schema. Because so we're going to go month, and we're going to call this year. I'm just going to make you a string as well. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, I could just default it and then migrate it over, be cheeky with it, but no, let's just go ahead and delete everything out and then just re-upload this and make sure it works. Um, come on now, get. Thank you. Uh, we'll go ahead and close you. Come back here. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, no, not that. Uh, let's do this. Mm. NPX, Prisma. Added year. 
cool. Boom, boom, boom. Now, because we've added the year. I guess that should be month, right? We shouldn't just call it name. Uh. I'll just squash all these together a little bit later. Okay, there we go. Yeah, Steffi, I'm glad you enjoyed that. I just came back and looked back at chat and saw the, the, the WTF again, and my brain just went instantly to Chris just... <laughs> what the fuck? Um, all right, well, let's drop back down to our uh, game list. Yep, I know. Yeah, it's wrong. So we want to go month. Yep, and after that, we want to do year. And we'll call you... 20... 22. Save that. Uh, come back over here. Uh, we'll close you. I'm getting text messages. Uh, this still looks like it's running fine. Everything's saved, but we'll just up and run it again. Bim, bam, boom. Cool. Cool. And we get MPX. We get Prisma Studio running again. Everything's cool. We don't actually have a game list. Let's go ask the Mr. Postman really politely if he would deliver one for us. And he does. F5, there it is. We have September, we have year. There we go. Perfect. All right. So back here to keep an eye there. All right, now we want to go back to our game service and actually flesh this out now. We're going to find it by um, name and year. So let's get back to the docs. <laughs> yeah, then. <laughs> that whole evening was just such a great, just like ridiculousness. No, yeah, he he was he 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 was breaking laughing in the background, which I was like, I I, I love that the whole the whole thing was ridiculous, like. The fact that, like, I, you could just, you just, I, I flip over the stream and I just see Chris's foot in the air and him just being like, what the f man? <sighs> Strategic Opera TV. Welcome, my friend. Thank you for the follow. It was just, it was, it was just too good. It was too good. Okay, I see. Do I even need to do this? Welcome. How are you doing? Hope you're having a better Saturday than me here. I'm 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 having a good time, but I'm also just kind of like flailing trying to figure out my next move. This is this is one of the fun things with the with the uh with with doing like live coding here, especially when you're learning it. There's an odd like adrenaline rush, like once you kind of figure it out and it starts working and you're just like, Yes! I am the best, you know, kind of moment. So I'm um, I'm really, really looking forward to that high. 
very soon. All right, so return this dot prisma dot game list. Yep. Why is it showing up like that? Where is that coming from? I'm trying to learn Python. Any advance for start? I mean, have you started? Like where? I mean, like I'm. I have. I. I don't know. I Python. I know very, very, very little of. I'm. I. I. I deviated from Python as my starting language because I basically lost it. Didn't have a computer when I uh, or lost the only computer I had at the time. And once I brought got back into coding, I just jo dove, drove, dove deep into uh, JavaScript. But I mean, where where have you started anything? That's absolutely the best thing right there. The best advice. Pick something in your life that frustrates you that you could fix with a project and start building it. That's where the high comes from that I was talking about earlier. Like, as soon as you go like, and I don't have to worry about this anymore. Like, it's nice. I'm more so hitting the, the little bit, the little highs of like, yes, and now I can do this now. I can do this. But I mean, like, if you were... Have you started at all? Or are you, you know, are you stuck in tutorial hell? Are you, you know, like where, where, where exactly are you in your, your adventure? I think people get caught up on what it means to start programming. They take the approach uh, that you take when you're starting other things. In programming, the most important thing is to start by... That literally means starting anywhere. That's a good point. Yeah, like, whatever makes, you know, some sense to you. I mean, I honestly, like... Uh, do I still have a... Do we still have a command for it? Maybe we don't. Free code camp. <laughs> BG's like FCC. Uh. Oh, I thought I had one for a free code academy. Or free... Huh? We just have code academy. Yeah, that's right. But we moved to... Hang on. Seriously, Free Code Camp is a tool that, like, I, I, yeah, yeah, it's because of, no, because no, no, that's that's the video for Nest particularly. Yeah, uh, well, that's the YouTube video. Here, here's just a bunch of links, guys. Um, that video is particularly for Nest JS. Um, keep that in mind. But Free Code Camp in general. I, I I would not be doing what I'm doing right now uh, without it, to be honest with you. It, uh, it's a fantastic tool, and I think they have a whole, I believe they have a whole, oh, I have to go through, like, the full sign-in. I think they have a whole Python series as well in, like, that's just pertaining to it. But, I mean, that is one of the best tools I've been able to utilize to you know, even get to where I'm at now, which is not too deep into the process, but I'm actually, I've got stuff working. Uh, what are we, what are we, why are you being mad at me? You know what, we don't even, I don't, I don't even, I don't even want you in there. How about that? Uh, operators. Did I do this wrong? Yeah, we did. All right, hang on, hang on. I 
I'm like sitting here staring at this chat and it's breaking my brain. Prisma from Prisma Client. Seamless where unique input. Where unique input. So let me look at how they did their. Looking at their schema, sorry. I'm digging this music though. It's important to learn how to learn first. One of the problems people run into when learning how to program is tutorial hell. If you're dead set on tutorial approach, make sure you don't fall into the infinite tutorial hell hole. You should always have a goal in mind. Join the, uh, oh, thank you for the, that's, that's, that was such a great plug. Thank you. Join the Alt F4 discord if you want. You can find me in there and I can answer the questions you may have or not. See, this is, why I love you guys. Seriously. Like. There's the little Discord link as well if you'd like to join. The community that we've been building over these years. Like this is why I wanted to learn. Like I, I, it, I wanted to get deeper into coding as well. Like is just the positive re like reinforcement we give each other. And the help. And it's been you know. It's been cool to be, to be part of this. And I'm, I'm glad to have you guys along the way. All right, where? So this is under user, user, auto increment, ID at unique. Okay. We only have the one unique, which is the email. And is that what we're grabbing at down here? Async user where user where unique input uh, prisma dot unique input promise user null return this dot prisma user find unique so okay All right, so maybe we will go back to name instead of what we have. Mm. Where? There we go. Because if we do name unique, September 2022 would be unique, uh, or, or SEP 2022 would be unique from, uh, oh, it's funny as we name that SEP, but it's actually October. So we get for hard coding things, it's part of the cleanup we got to do. Yeah, let's actually... And where was that? Uh, 
back to their schema. Now this is totally not the one we were just looking at. <laughs> Confused the hell out of me for a second there, chat. Oh, and this isn't either. We'll close that. Alright, I'm just closing everything I don't need right now, y'all. Close that one. Close the RARG one. Alright. Um, so, decorate this one as unique. We're actually going to change this back to name. I guess we don't really need uh hang on let's let's do something here prisma and we want to search the documentation and what do we have date time Wait. Okay, that was weird. The little drop box didn't have like... Alright, can we just pull the year out of this? I'm sure we can. Uh, let's see, Prisma, date time, uh, year only? Onlat? Yo, what up, Melky? That 17 fantastic months, man. Little shout out, little shout out to our boy Melky. If you guys do not know who Melky Dev is, you're doing yourself a complete disservice and you need to click that button right now and hit the follow. What's good, my dude? You know, Melky, have you seen have you seen my the background of my of my VM yet? Have you seen this yet? Oh, you get the biggest of shout outs. Shut up. By the way, the, the, the help you sent me, where it's in it's in process, so we're just waiting to hear back now, so I absolutely appreciate you. See, Steffi knows who Melky is. See that wrench, guys? See that wrench? That means he's staff. And he and he's allowed to break stuff at Twitch. He gets paid to break stuff at Twitch. <laughs> Seriously though, that was a uh, a big help. I do appreciate it. Yeah, like so like when like, you know, if 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 <laughs> yeah, that's what we do. No. We got a problem with Twitch, we're like, "Damn it, Melky. What did you do now?" Uh, if my Postgres table has a field type date, blah, 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 when calling Prisma introspect, this type can be converted to date time in the Prisma schema. Later, I will try to query. Like, da, da, da. Mm. Uh. 
<laughs> Melky, did you finally read uh 1059? Can we can we can we can we can we nerd out on some one piece later today? Merix? Merix? Thank you for the follow. If I completely butchered that name, let me know because these things happen. Miro, Miro, Miro. Yeah, that's uh That's 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 pretty much all you need to say about 1059 actually. So, yeah, I can give you that. I can give you that one. I think you can do it in the migrations. What do you mean? Top of the day at any specific value. Uh, you know what, man? I I don't I don't think I care that much right now. This is this is just we're just going down a rabbit hole we don't need. For right now, we will do this. We'll get rid of the year. I say that and then I start cringing for a second thinking maybe we shouldn't. No, because we've got the created at time. Realistically. Oh, I did not mean to delete that here. No. No. Shit, did I really... Uh, alright, so let's... Let's save this. Let's go back down to here. Uh, no, down to here, excuse me. And, oh, no, controller. Get rid of this. I change you back to name. All right? Yep. Just breaking stuff, chat. Yeah, I know you're not happy about it. Hang on. You chill out for a quick second. We save the scheme, all right? Uh... Right, my brain's not doing what I want right there. Mm. What is Nest JS? Okay, so Nest is basically, you know, I really need to like get a, a good sit down way to explain Nest. Because I'm still learning Nest, so I'm trying to figure it out. But think of it as essentially as kind of our the framework for our back end. So if we come over here. For us to be able to do things like being able to grab the data that we need. We need an endpoint and Nest uh, basically creates the framework for us to easily create them. Um... If that makes any sense. There you go. 
You're getting good with these too long didn't read, BJ. All right. Um, let's NPX Prisma. Right, and if we go over here now, this is going to break perfect like it's supposed to. And you're going to be name, and we're going to call you Ock2022. And comma. Bim, bam, boom. Back over here, this is still good. We want to go NPX Prisma Studio, not Studi, but Studio. Do we not get name on that? Oh. This is because this is old data. Delete. That would make sense. Chat. So we gotta go ask Mr. Postman to politely put data back into our database. Hit that F5, the cousin of the stream, and boom, there it is. Name, Oct 2022. All the IDs. Okay, now I think we can start moving forward. G Camposi, I think that's how we say your name. Thank you, my friends, sincerely for the follow. Welcome to you. See, that's the thing that trips me up with, I think, right now with uh, learning how to code and getting through it is that there are very many words that mean the same thing in certain contexts, and then as soon as you step into another room, it means something completely different. Or, like, this instance, like you said, BG, like, across the board, like, how things can be synonymously across the board in certain ways, it just, uh, it can fuzzles one's mind. Oh, no, that is not what we want to do. <laughs> oh listen google is my biggest friend like i'll hear somebody say something and be like and they'll say it so confidently that i should know what they mean and i'm just like oh god i must be an idiot for not knowing what this means and then you know i you know just gotta type it into the googles and be like what does this mean and pray to whatever deity or god you believe in that Somebody has experienced the same thing and has asked the same thing. Okay, so this is all fixed now. This is kind of in the direction we need to be. We need to get back to our game service over here. Um, get back to our docs. Oh, this was just for the at unique, right? Let's create. Mm, let's come back over here. There we go. Gameless where unique. Ubique, unique. Input. And this is Prisma dot game list 
where unique input. All right, all right. All right, chat, we might be figuring something out. We need a little comma right there. That is a colon, all right. We need a pro mice. There we go. And this should be game list. With the pipe and the null. Why are you going to get mad at this? What does this say? A function whose declared type is neither void nor any must return a value. Oh, well, yeah, we haven't done that yet. Chill out. Does that make you happy? Just calm yourself. All right, so this dot uh, prisma dot game list dot uh, find unique. And we're going to say where That's right, I basically feel like that for every other thing in my life. I guess... I guess that makes sense. I will say, I've become the guy now who, like... I don't do it in public. Because that's just embarrassing, but, like, I ask Siri so many damn questions now, like, when I'm driving, I'm just like... I'll have like just these like intrusive thoughts be like well, okay what is this why does this work this way and then I'll like ask Siri and then like half the time like I get the responses where she can read it back to me and I'm like cool I'll get the good answer and the other time it's like please click this website I'm like no I just want you to tell me but yes googling everything is is such a, an important part of my day to day life <clears throat> um I think another thing that we're going to need to make, I think, as we make these lists grow, maybe somewhere that will generate a list of them so that I can click it and we can move over to it within here. So something that would gather all of the unique names that exist. And then I can click one and then it would move me on to the next step. So but that's something we'll worry about a little bit later down the road once we get this working. We can populate some more data into it and then start playing with that. But if I'm understanding this right, we could call get DB list now, make sure that we put in the, the proper information, which would be OC 2022. And it should return this. I think, I think. So let's, um, let's actually come back to here. This was for user. Let's go down to the controller and see how they did it. Go to our controller here. We just need game service, which is, yep, which is there. Um, this was a post, so we need to do a get. Yeah, okay, simple enough. I say that, we'll see if it's true. Alright, so get, and we want to get the, um, game list. Name will resolve at signature, decorator with expression, types of void. Wait, what? Hmm. 
Let's see. I started to learn Go. It's very simple, and we'll take it for my microservice where performance is very important. Won't rewrite my API in Nest.js because I don't need any extreme RPS there, and writing in Nest.js is uh, very easy, fast, and nice, but I am happy about it. And I think I wouldn't have tried it if not for your influence, BG. Okay. just heard a very genuine oh cool in the background there hey i appreciate that seriously i'm i'm super glad to be back and i am i'm really excited that i'm like getting it you know what I mean? Like that's that's what's that's what's super. Yeah, yeah. Like BG said in the background just now, it's the addiction. Like I'm I'm understanding it and I'm like enjoying it now. Where I'm like, ooh, ooh, and then this goes here and that goes here and these little things just go everywhere. You know, like it's just it starts to make sense and like you want to continue to do it. Um. We'll call this get game list. Okay. Well, I'm glad that they're that they're enjoyable. I mean, that's that was that was part of the 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 trepidatiousness of, of like starting off doing this was just being like, are we going to have an entertaining time and good time like learning this? Or is it going to be a lot of misery with little glint, you know, like just small bits of uh, hope and, and success. And it's been both. It's definitely been both, but I sincerely feel like I am, like, really learning quite a bit. All right, so we need to return this dot game list, or this dot game service dot get db list. And we need something in here, so it needs to be awk. 2022, right? I'm just going to hard code that for right now. Does that break anything? No, oh, you go small. We didn't, you we weren't supposed to go big. Yeah, that didn't work. Um, I expected zero arguments. Okay, well, we can do that. I thought. Expected one argument, but got zero. Uh, an argument for game list for unique input was not provided. Uh, Worship the Sofa, and we are working on... That's a great name, by the way. Working on my first project called the Monthly, or MGRC, the Monthly Game Release Calendar. Um, here, we'll do a quick overview real quick for you guys. Sha is it Shaz? Thank you for the follow. Um, so the whole idea of it is, is that once a month, well, here it is. The idea of it is, is this. I needed a project, my first project to build, and we also had a need or, or yearning to 
still include video games in the stream. So the idea of it was was to create a project where we will um, we will grab the following month's games and curate a list for the community to vote on. And either the day the game is released or that weekend, depending on time, we will do like a big premiere stream and play as much as the game as we can. And um, it basically allows us again to keep gaming in the community and on the stream and for you guys to have control over it. And, you know, who knows? There could be some fun like YouTube review videos, you know, down the road for the games as well. All right, so an argument for a game just was not provided. Yeah, okay, so... Um, I guess we'll just do this for a moment. Uh, let test hold equal... And we'll call this Arc 2022. We'll slap that bad boy in there. Test hold... Why aren't you happy? Type string has no properties in common with game. Yeah, so worship the sofa. Yeah, we're just, uh, you know, it's a fun little project that, like, I once we get to just the the MVP of of what I kind of described, like, I want to reiterate upon and build out. But um, yeah, and we're we're using Nest.js as a framework to, or as a conduit essentially to, to teach me the framework of how you know a web application actually works. And with that 10G wrap up, yeah, what are what are what are what are, what is the rankings right now? Wake up, Quirk. Oh, I know. All right, so yeah, so you you'll have to forgive Quirk. We uh yeah, fun story time. Story time, chat. Gather round. Gather round, children. Um, it was like what, around five o'clock last night. We were uh, we were BG and I were in the garage. And um, we were just chit chatting, and we're in there grabbing something, and then we just hear what sounds like a like a small plane taxiing out of our garage, and one of the servers was rebooting, and we were both kind of looked at each other like, oh, uh oh, you know, and we're like, so we're waiting for it to reboot, and it's like thirty seconds in, and it reboots again, and then we realize that. It's in a constant loop of rebooting, and yeah. Long story short, our uh, our our six servers are at five right now, and yeah, yeah. We've um, knock on wood, or here knock 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 on chat, if you will. We believe we've isolated the issue, and we have uh, a piece on the way to uh, remedy the problem. We're pretty sure that it's the um, the, uh, the 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 raid controller battery, but we will find out on Monday if we can uh, you know get everything up and running back to where it needs to be. An argument for gameless where unique input was not provided. All right. I went to put test hold in here, and then you got mad because of what? Type string has no properties in common with type game list with unique input. So do we need to go back here? I have to clean up a lot of this. Oh, and this is still pulling for September, but that's not even actually pulling. Um, I 
I just want the the name. And this is what getting both ID and name. So can we do dot name? What did that say? My face block in that chat, I apologize. Hang on. Uh da, 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 has no export member name. Get to get did you mean gameless for input? No, I don't think I did. Hmm, right, Joy-Con. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 18 months at tier 3, like a god champion. How you been, my bud? I hope you've been doing well. <clears throat> now we got a Zazep coming in here clicking down freaking southern accent thing now and breaking me up now. You, you completely derailed me last week, by the way. I was, I, I just, you get the clap for it. And I, and I do applaud you, but you, yeah, you derailed me with just stacking the hell out of that thing. But you know, that come with territory when you go and put thing out there for people to stick at and poke at and people poke at, just got a little home mom happen now. I do not do such things. It was not me. <clears throat> yes. Oh God, you guys are just slapping me with everything right now. Well, maybe do the Southern accent. Doing a southern accent now with, with the monkey type included. Mm. Oh. I I know. I know. Oh. Ooh, damn. I think, yeah. Did, wait, wait, wait. Is that what just happened? Did we just get a... A change in the rankings and right Joy-Con was deceited. Ooh. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Gonna be a dang old fight and dang old stream coming up here now soon. Okay, so the monkey type. Alright, hang on, hang on. We're gonna we're gonna get this to happen. How much darn more while we'll call on off between <laughs> honestly trying to do this in the southern accent is going to make me type the words in wrong turn not against more who the say seem great life play into govern tang develop develop oh this is like I can't do this on, take, work, say, get. Now, you know what? We're just going to go regular words now and actually see if we can make up some time because that was breaking my brain beyond total comprehension. And we'll get back to the Southern here in just a moment. I'm going to have to like practice my Southern accent, man. I need, I need, I need, I... Yeah, I, 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 I can only pull it out when like, I'm drunk, bro. Damn, this is horrible. I, I have fought my whole damn life not to have the southern accent, and it only comes out when I'm tired, mad, or drunk. And I'm not, none of those right now. Start a drink. <clears throat> I don't even think I have any booze. I legit thought about going to the liquor store earlier today to get a bottle of something. And like, I was like, dude, it's, it's 1030 or it's like 1045 in the morning. I was like, it's a little too early. Like, I know my liquor store dude would be cool and be like, yo, what's up? But like, I just was like, it's, a, it's just a little too early for me. All right, fine. First of dot game. Actually, hang on. Here's my dot game list. I 
We have a bunch of things here. Sophia, welcome. We are uh, building the my first project, and it is the monthly game release calendar in Nest. So, Zaza, let me know how many times you think you've seen the movie Armageddon. Butcher Storm, thank you for the follow, and welcome, my friend. Yeah, we're uh, we're type scripting it away. I'm learning type. I'm learning type because basically I'm learning how to build web applications, how to use Nest, how to use Prisma, and how to use TypeScript all while 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 building this thing. So it it has been, it has been an adventure, to say the least. Sophia, thank you for the follow as well. Uh, more like five, closer to ten, I think. It's uh yeah it's it's. You know, I used to love the movie Armageddon when I was younger, Ziza, but I, I haven't watched it in years, so I, I I can't say anything negative about it. Except for the fact that there's that one Aerosmith song, but that's about it. By the way, guys, to all of our new friends and followers out there, I don't want you to be surprised that next time you see the channel go live and you click onto it and you're like, who the hell is that guy? It's because we have two co-hosts here we have myself here on the weekends and and again hopefully soon uh, uh, on the weeknights i'm gonna try to find an evening that i can make that happen and then during the week um around between the the hours of 8 a.m and um uh, 10 a.m uh, pacific standard is when bg starts and um he's the veteran between the two of us the weekends you're gonna be see when you see me it's all learning and figuring it out um the mornings when he's streaming during the week Hey, he's been doing this for a decade now, so. There is quite a bit. Also, if you guys have not already joined, we would love to have you on our Discord. That's where everything happens off air. Um, we hang out in there, play games. I think we did a big, um, we had a big like Overwatch night the other night. In fact, the big Overwatch night that we brought up on Twitter the other day where, where our, our good friend CM Griffin, um, you know, uh, at his chair break live, and it was the most amazing thing ever. All right, let's uh, let's see if we can figure this out. Um, game list. Wait, where? Oh, am I doing this wrong? Oh, no, no, we're still in the game service. No, we're still doing this right. We still we got to figure out why this is breaking. Oh, yeah, honestly, Sophia, like, definitely check out, like, check out time, like, like, start checking out TypeScript, because it, 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 Honestly, has it it the the only thing that's hindered me is when I um doing this project. The only thing that TypeScript has hindered me with not knowing how it works is when it stops and goes, "Hey, you broke something. You need to come back and fix this." And that's kind of how I've been how I've been learning, figuring it out. Yeah, TS is just JS with classes. Yeah, pretty much. But I still love Armageddon, and I still cry. That's fair. I, uh, again, I haven't seen that movie in years. Though, I, as I, as I, as I did talk crap on the Armageddon, on the, uh, the, uh, Aerosmith Armageddon song earlier, I did have that album as a kid, so I can't talk too much smack. Uh, <laughs> Post where unique input. Uh, so that breaks when we do that. Uh, I was no expert to remember name. Game like, what did you mean? Oh. 
Okay, hang on. So where would it be dot name here like that? Oh, where is breaking though? So we go type and game list. Boo, 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 boo. Is it is it Pia card? Is that how we say it? Welcome. Thank you for the follow. Uh oh no, I have never seen the movie Pearl Harbor, Zizep. <laughs> oh god, dude. Oh, pluck card. My bad. My bad. I see that now. I see that now. BG just goes... I said I, I I have never seen the movie Pearl Harbor. He goes, yeah, but you know the ending though. Touche, touche. Yeah, I've never seen it. Well, who 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 did that? Was that James Cameron? Who directed Pearl Harbor? Michael Bay. That's right. I, I don't. I, Michael Bay and James Cameron are synonymous to one another to me and my brain. Yeah, one <laughs> explosions in water. Nah, uh, Sophia, that is uh, that is my co-host. So I'm I'm pretty 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 cool. He's in the back. He's 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 safe in the back. Michael Bay did both. What well, wait did both what? Oh, he did Armageddon, didn't he? Ugh. See, Steffi's nailing it. He's harmless. Uh, so, name. And that's going to be uh, a string. Yep. Oh, because that's coming from... Alright, I think I know what the issue is, but I need to run to the little streamer's room. So I'm going to do that real quick. Alright, I'm going to hop off and get some sleep before my son inevitably wakes me up at 5 a.m. <laughs> get some rest, enjoy it. I hope you can sleep past 5 a.m. Um, but if you can't, get as much rest as humanly possible i understand everybody else out there in chat land i am going to take a quick break guys but we're going to do a little bit of stuff real quick before we do that um if you guys are not part of the discord already i would love to see your wonderful faces there that is where all the fun stuff happens when we're not streaming uh gaming or events you know just general nonsense uh that that all happens there um, also, we are on the socials. Like I said earlier, we showed off our Twitter earlier. We would love to see you uh, follow us there if you do participate. Um, I do want to say thank you to that new follow. And I also want you to check out our YouTube channel. We have our main YouTube page uh, where, you know, BG has put out some fantastic videos. Let me scroll on over here. The newest one, uh, <clears throat> how to automate your CLI tasks. This is uh, this is the newest one. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, on top of that, we also have our archives page where all of our um... <laughs> Quirk app got a sub. Thank you, Red Joy-Con. Our robot appreciates you. But we do have the YouTube archives where all of our VODs are archived as well. So if you guys do miss a show or we need to rewatch something or just want to rewatch something, you can do it there. And um, yeah. We're also going to run a quick ad while we're gone. We only run ads when we take breaks uh, because we don't want you to miss a thing. But Twitch wants us to run ads, so, you know, give or take, we do it this way. So, 
we you know it's funny is somebody had renamed themselves to love joy con at one point in time and they they just they didn't stay they didn't last all right i'm back i figured out why the brb didn't work so because this is this is zyzeb's fault actually so zyzeb listen up uh, since i made this thing for you what this thing i have to be in a separate channel on obs now and I didn't do that. I forgot to click the button. And it, and it broke my, my, my other links. Alright, so I'm getting the wrong thing here. I'm, I'm grabbing after the wrong thing is what's happening. This is on GitHub, actually. I have not... Uh, I was thinking after today's stream, probably updating some of it. Uh, thank you for the follow. I saw the lights change. I don't have the screen up to see what, who, I mean, who it was. Give me one second there. Uh, uh, why, am I not logged into GitHub here? Hmm... Yeah, we haven't we haven't touched it since. But we haven't touched it since its initial inception, so we will be we'll we will be updating it soon. I, I do wanna see my, my board start to fill up with green, meaning that I'm actually doing things. Where I'm going to want to call, I guess it's going to be, uh, no, 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 uh, Salutations, package lock JSON. Welcome, my friend. How you doing? Oh, an exodosa, exodositus. Is that is that that was the follow a moment ago? Thank you, my friend. Thank you for the follow. Uh, was that a coffee fest from two p.m. until like eight p.m. today? So it was nice. There is a Mocha Master batch brew competition, and I got to judge one semifinals. Oh, hell yeah! However, Zyzeb, with your 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 problem of trying to sleep at night, I don't know if going to a coffee fest is the the best. What? Oh, holy hell! Is that what that little thing is? Damn, dude! Right, Joy-Con, I've been great, man. I've been busier than I probably ever have been, and. It's been, it's been taxing, don't get me wrong, but I, you know, work has been, hey, I've got a, you know, I got promoted at work and I've taken on more responsibilities and that's been kicking my ass. This project here in particular and learning all of this has been quite a bit, but it's been great. Like it's, it's, it's a lot, but it's been, it's worth it. Thank you, bud. Seriously. And like, thank you for being you. Like you've been a fantastic person you know just you know community member and yeah you you know it, it it you help us keep doing this so we we absolutely appreciate you i'm glad to see you uh what time do you sleep in general me um i have to be if i have to be in the office the next day i try to get to bed by you know 2 a.m so i'm up by at least at least 7 30 in the morning um but that's the latest I'll go to bed. I normally try to get to bed by about midnight. Um, I'm trying to learn Prisma outside of work right now, too. Yeah, Prisma's interesting. It's been, uh... 
it's it's been quite helpful but then there's been these little like pitfalls where i i don't fully know how to work with databases and um learning those little bits has been interesting well do you want to know what time i go to bed or, or what time i sleep if you i oh, dude i'll be in bed and be like sitting there for like two hours trying to sleep that is the absolute worst This dot. Prisma dot game list dot name. I should be able to figure this out. This is this is one of those things where my brain is just like I it's on the tip of my tongue almost. Uh, am I a computer science graduate? No, I am. I I am once upon a time a a English. I was first a history major, planning on being a teacher. Moved to English major, planning on being basically either teaching and then moving into writing and being a writer that ended up just basically saying screw it got my associates in liberal arts became a bartender for many years and finally decided you know what i need to just dive back into my love of computers and tech and embrace it and yeah every much everything's pretty much self-taught at this point self-taught from learning or my cohort bg helping me learn or even just the community in general so i'm 30 30 32 man and i've done it, it is once upon a time like at, at this point I've, I've done a lot of crap man i've done a lot of things where me even when I'm even like the, even starting to become a bartender feels like so long ago and it wasn't it's not even like that was a decade ago but it's getting close what close to it yeah BG's back there like close to it yeah you know not yeah no spring chicken here yeah I mean I guess it is a little personal, but yeah, people's sleeping habits are interesting. <clears throat> USMC chick. I recently finished up the rest of my CS schooling for masters, been considering going back to electrical engineering, but I don't know. You know, honestly, right, Joy-Con, it's funny, is electrical engineering has been like a weird fascination of mine as of late. I got a contractor job at NASA being self-taught. Definitely don't need a degree. Damn. What's well, the thing? Is like, is if you can, if you can do it, you don't need the degree. <laughs> Sorry, BG's back here talking shit. It was a good one. Oh, that was good. Why do I code on Linux? Um, why not? Most profound question ever. Um, realistically, the reason why I am... Well, I mean, it's funny. Is I'm, I'm actually coding in a VM that's running Linux inside of Windows. But the reason why I use Linux... Uh... I just like it better, realistically. Like, it, for me, isolating my dev environment outside, like even just in the work VM, is a very weird way of making me have tunnel vision. Because I can't open up Steam in here. I can't open up, you know, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's a weird mental trick for me. And like, you know, everyone else said, uh,
Yeah, it's a weird way. And and when, yeah, coding on Windows, uh, particularly like messing with the terminal in Windows, is 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 a pain in the ass. Um, I kind of I kind of ran into a lot of headaches. Uh, trying to do certain things or even following tutor tutor tutorials tutorials. Um, yeah, my tongue's not working. Uh, tutorials. Um, using like you know. Uh, what is like even with PowerShell, um, or even like downloading, uh, you know, different terminals for Windows. But again, the isolation of my work environment away from anywhere where I can play is what I need. You started off as an English major, and I can't talk. Hey, I said I was going to be a writer, not 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 a public speaker. Size up. There, there is something called, you know, right click, uh, spell check. There we go. Okay, so. Let's get rid of this. Prisma dot reject operation find unique. Yeah, I think we just need to we, we we what we need to do is just delete all of this. We're gonna start fresh. I feel like we're doing this wrong. Get rid of this. Oh, did I miss a question? I did. Thank you, BG. Oh. oh, I'm a big dummy. I think I figured it out. Okay, hang on. I think we were on the right path. And I just deleted everything out of spite for myself. That's okay. This is all right. So we're going to call this get... No... Get game list. Right. Let's scroll up so you guys can see it. I don't know if my face is blocking the thing. Oh, I know. Control Z is my friend as well, but I'm I'm going more for repetition at this point. Uh game list. Unique. If we can type input colon should have did this earlier. It's gonna bug me. Uh, we'll go prisma dot get no game list. Yeah, excuse me, game list uh, unique. No, we screwed this up. Game list where unique input. I need to move mic over just a smidge. You know, Zyze up, I'm not a huge rum fan. Way too sweet for me. But at this point in, in this juncture, I, I could go for a pour of rum, I'm not going to lie.
Honestly, at this point, I'm probably going to go pick up a bottle of something after this stream. Or go get a cocktail, one or the other. Alright, so game list. Uh, where, unique input, yada yada. Give me that comma. We go colon, pro mice. And in here, we want to do a uh, game list. Null. Return this dot prisma dot game list dot find unique. And in here we go where host. No, 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 this is game list. There we go. Do the comma just to be pretty. Save. Go back to our terminal. And what are you mad at? Where return this dot game list dot get db lit oh in the controller where we need to go update things makes sense it's mad there I only have less than half a bottle left that's enough see <coughs> I just inhaled spit uh see you're doing it wrong uh, stream with a cocktail and then when you wake up you can't remember when you're finished that's a good point. Hang on a second. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta pull something up for chat. Way, way, way back, once upon a time. Uh, oh, come on, Twitch, why aren't... Our about page was not loading up like I needed it to. Clips. All right, chat, hang on a second. There is a clip somewhere. Uh, all time. There we go. We did, I used to do a bar show on here. And I would drink all of the cocktails I taught you guys how to make. And after the first show, I realized that I need not to make six cocktails in one show and try to teach you guys how to, you know... Hold your liquor. Um, oh, where is it? And we've got clip. Oh, there it is. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. This is this is one of them, yeah. Oh, no. This was last night's stand. This was the full show. This wasn't even the bar. This was just me having a bar next to me while I did the show. We used to do quite a bit. There, there, there used to be drinking on stream at one point in time. At one point in time. Okay, so what did we what did we call? We changed the name of this. What did we end up calling it? Uh get game list. And we'll go to the controller. Async get game list. This dot. Mm, something's not right here. But I'm still intrigued to see if it works. So, um, let's go talk to the, let's go, let's go, let's go talk to Mr. Postman. Mr. Postman, I would like to ask you of a favor. You need to go to game. What, what, what information do you give us when we do this? And actually, we're going to put the, the hidden screen up here in a second, chat, because this is how I end up doxing myself. So hang on a second. All right, well, we got a 404, so that's not doxing anything. Uh, forward slash game. Game. Oh, did I? Yeah, we made this a git. I forgot what's going on. 
Uh, no, it's VS Code. Hang on a second. Uh, Glasset is the extension, and... I think... Yeah, there it is. Uh, so yeah, here, check it out. Um, I think it's... It's, uh, Control-Alt-X. Yeah, we'll bring us back, and then I can get the transparency back to where I want. It's a pretty cool plugin. Get game list. Oh, because it's just game list. I get game list. Um, all right, so hidden screen back up. Yep. All right, let's make sure we don't dox ourselves. All right, it's not actually giving us information, but we're kind of getting somewhere. So let's come back here. Uh, <laughs> so once upon a time, Zyzep, it used to be three people that ran the Alt F4 stream. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, I don't remember exactly what happened here and why he started screaming going on, but, you know. I think he was motivating himself for uh, the next game is what it was. Dude, there's plenty of clips if you go through them that are just crazy. And of course, my friend, yeah, that's a great, it's a great add-on, so definitely, uh, or extension, so definitely check it out. I had to get it specifically for the stream, because, you know, aesthetics are everything. Yeah, it's another good one, too. That was 4th of July two years ago? Three years ago? Two years ago? July 2020. Yeah, two years ago. We're game list. We're unique input. Oh, okay, that's right. We didn't do the controller right. So let's come back down to the controller over here. <coughs> we need to do... Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. At param, we want to do... Uh, name... And name is a string. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, what is this post model? That's imported from the Prisma client. Okay, okay. So we want to do up here in the controller, we want to import... Um, game list as uh, I guess we'll just call it game list model we'll do how they show us and this needs to come from at Nest. Oh no, this is a Prisma client. There we go. Alright, so back to our function. We need to do our promise. Promise. <laughs> I spelled it wrong because I'm doing it as I'm enunciating it. Enunciating it. So we want to go gameless model. Yep, yep. Uh, down here, we'll get rid of this whole line. Aesthetics, exactly. It's all about the aesthetics. Uh, 
let's see, how long have I been programming? Realistically, it's been like off and on trying to learn it for years, but seriously? I'd say I've been really diving deep for like four months now, four or five months. With with a year maybe before that of kind of dat like like dipping my toes back in here and there. Zizep, I'm glad you're enjoying them. There's some really good ones. Does the glass effect work in Zoom? I don't know. I wouldn't see why not. I mean, if it's a screen capture of it, yeah, I mean, if that's what you're talking about. If you like remote sharing your screen, probably. Uh, okay, so I need to return this dot game service dot get game list I don't know name yeah string uh oh chat I think this is it does Ness say it's okay I think Ness says it's okay all right, so we're gonna we're gonna hide the screen again because again, like I said, I don't know what's gonna pop out here. And last time I didn't know what was gonna pop out here, my API key just got splayed on display for everybody. So we're gonna hide the screen real quick. We're gonna ask Mr. Postman real politely to give us some data, and we don't get anything. But we get a status two hundred OK, which is not a bad thing. Not a bad thing. Um, actually, I'm going to hide the screen again real quick. And yeah, we're good. Never mind. Okay. So let's pull back up our example because I don't know if like we're grabbing exactly what we need. Oh, I need a... Hang on. Okay. I see what's wrong. Game list. Something like this, right? It didn't seem like it was watching for changes. Yeah. Oh. Uh, so, I gotta figure out why this has been happening. Uh, da 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 Cool. And you're watching for updates. Neato. Okay, we're back to it. We're back to it. Uh, I forgot how much of a Marvel and MCU fan you are. I'm just a big nerd, man. That's what it comes down to. If it's something I dig and it's nerdy, like I'm going to be all about it. USMC chick, what do you talk about? It just does. What do what 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 did I miss? Well, welcome, Zummy. How's that iced coffee treating you? Oh, that was an alt tab in the wrong way. Yeah, I just got to see behind the scenes a little bit. Uh, 
Oh, that's because I changed it. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, so I just need to figure out how to actually query things properly, how to use it. Why it does that? Why, why does what do what? Well, you got me super confused. What is it? It's it. Um, yeah, I've, 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 I've kind of missed it. It was miserable in the desert. 105 heat until I realized that you could drink uh, coffee cold. Or re-realized, you should say. That makes sense. Oh, I should probably prep my trash and go down with it. I do have my Apple remote this time. I am proud of you. I'm glad you didn't throw that away. I'm sorry. I screwed it up. Oh, I don't need to add the... Oh. I see what you're saying. So you're saying keep it like that. We're good there. Come back to Postman. And just forward slash... Damn, this song is kicking ass. Shut up, BG. He's gonna call me Howard Moon now, and... And I can't argue against it. I mean, would it make more sense for me to just go back to doing the IDs, grabbing it from the IDs, and then just being able to pull, know the difference by the name? Yeah, I think... I think that makes more sense, actually. Uh, y'all have a fantastic night. Finally been set work from free. <laughs> I'm I'm glad that they uh they released you from your office chair and and sent you upon your way. Have a great night. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for the follow and uh yeah, we look forward to seeing you soon. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm looking back at it. USMC chick. I just I'm 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 horrible with timing. Story of my life. Uh All right. Let's let's actually just do it by ID. Because that's just going to be easier for me to track, too, anyway. I just got a hungry chat. No. I mean, you were close. That was the general premise of what we were going for. Um, three, right? There it is. All right, cool. All right, well, that's working. We're just going to figure out a way now to basically give us a little bit more info of how we're going to be able to pull them. But that's giving us our actual game list ID now by the ID. So I guess the next thing I kind of wanted to do realistically would be take one of these IDs and ask uh, Raji what does it mean. So... Let's go ahead and pull up their documentation.
games. I don't want to get a list of games. I just want to get a single game. Sorry, my boom just wanted to start falling over on its own. I get a list of games as part of series, get a list of games, get game, get details of the game. ID required. See, that's what we need. Folks, have you watched the Mandalorian trailer? <clears throat> There's a new Mandalorian trailer. Ooh. No, I have not watched it, but I will take a peek after stream. Try game list forward slash awk percentage 2020 and decode it in your controller. I think that that would probably work, but I think actually just going with the ID is going to make a little more sense with how I'm going to end up setting this up. <clears throat> um, the only reason I say that is because we will end up having a list here, and I think my idea of it is is I'm just going to pull a list of all like the most recent IDs, check the verify the name, and then move forward with it. So I think actually keeping it this way makes sense. And then I'm going to add probably tack something on a little bit later how to decide. And that's going to come when we start building out the admin um, front end. So I think this will work for now. Uh, da, 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 da. Get a detail on games. That's all we're going to get from them. Damn, that's a lot. Game forward slash list forward slash ID makes more sense than just game list. It's it's game forward slash game list. I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That does make sense. I like that. Good call. You get the clap. You deserve it. Do what? All right, so we're going to get a lot of info from the game. Um, a lot of information. I guess the question is, is what all do we actually want to use? Um, <clears throat> the name's going to be important, most definitely. Description's going to be important to us. I don't think we're going to really care about the Metacritic score or the platforms, Metacritic platforms. Uh, release date, definitely. TBA and updated, we don't care about. Background image, yeah, we'll use that. Website, that makes sense. 
I don't think I care about the reactions or ratings. None of this. Playtime would be an interesting thing to keep. No. Playtime is your individual playtime if you've made an account on Raji. So uh, we don't even want that either. Automation, or excuse me, automatic code. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, my friend. I don't think we can actually use any of the social media stuff since we're using the free version of the API. Mm. Realistically? The things I think we need. The release date. Background image. Website. Um, Playtime. I don't know, we need to probably look to see what screenshot count means, if it actually gives us a list of screenshots to look at, and movie count. Uh, I don't care about this, 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 this. I think we... Ah, you know, I really don't care about the ESRB rating. I mean, we're going to play what we're going to play, as long as it's not like an NC-17 or X-rated game, so I guess maybe we will keep that and platforms so we know what we can play it on realistically that's all oh well, hang on we need some more stuff up here description and name so the plan i guess is is from the front end perspective what you guys will see in the end is we we will pull the list and then we're going to end up curating the list down because we're not going to take all the whole, the whole, the whole queue here. We're not going to be able to like list all of those. We'll probably, we'll probably shrink it down anywhere between four to nine games and kind of do like a grid system. So if it's four, it's two by two. If it's six, it's going to be, you know, two by three. If it's nine, it's going to be three by three kind of idea. Welcome. How are you, my friend? Hello to you. So yeah, you know, if it's a... Uh, <clears throat> If we're going to do just a, a simple, you know, four games for you guys to vote on, it would look something like, you know, like that. If it's going to end up being six, we'd probably do something like this. And if we end up doing nine, uh, it would look end up look like something like, come on, now move. Something like that. And I think the idea it is it would show like a, a thumbnail of the, of the game. So if we come back to, <clears throat> uh, here, we'll do this. So we can at least visualize what we're thinking of. So we take the background image that we get from there. That would be the thumbnail. Um, you maybe would click on it. It would open up, give the description, a link to a video to watch for it, some screenshots. Maybe the ESRB rating. Uh, platforms is only going to be really pertaining to <clears throat> um, me. So that I know what platforms we're going to be streaming from. Uh, so maybe we don't need that. But it's going to be pretty simple. It's just going to grab the ID that we already have. Let's say we wanted to grab this one. We query raw G. Raji is going to spit out this information to us, and then we're going to be able to use it on our front end. And I'm doing well, my friend. Thank you for asking. Having a good Saturday. Productive Saturday and a fun Saturday. Those things are usually not mutual, and I'm happy they are. However, I need, um, oh, this is giving that out. So we need to be able to filter that list. Um, how does one do that?
I'm digging the music. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and... Let's actually build out the... Let's do this first. We're going to build out the raw G call. So let's go back. Where were their docs? Right here. Um... Damn, this is... <clears throat> all right so i got a, a handful of things i need to i need all this over here which i think it actually might already be over here nope i lied to y'all service no it is okay cool So forward slash games, and then we're going to need to put in and get rid of the the dates here because we don't need that. Um, but we do need to put. ID in here. Okay, let's do this. ID equals and we'll call this just a, <clears throat> a game ID. And we're going to hard code it for right now. And that is going to equal, and we're just going to grab a random ID. Um... There we go. Do the old 619-867. And if I just gave away somebody's phone number, I apologize. It was like not 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 intentional. I guess we need one more digit, right? That's only six. Never mind. Disregard me. Alright, so api.rarg.io.api forward slash games. And we have our API key in there, and then the ID is going to equal game ID, which is an ID that we've already pulled from the list. And get rid of that, because we're not using that. Um, we might end up using those in a second, so we'll keep that in mind. Chat, how the hell are you guys doing? You guys are just listening to me ramble here. Me, uh, oh, did it again. No, stop it. In here. Alt tab. There we go. Okay. So we'll, uh, I guess we'll call this uh, raw G game. Right. We'll call that raw G game and let's see back here. <clears throat> We actually need to change the name of this. 
and clean that up from last time because it's actually working. And we're going to comment you out so you shut up and stop screaming at me. And so we're going to... need all of the data to come out. And it's not going to be a number. Can I just any this right here? Will this be mad at me about that? It probably will. Is it Anexin? Anexin? Thank you for the follow. Uh, requires one type arguments. Um, represents the asynchronous operation generic type. Promise T requires one type argument. Um, oh, it's saying I need to put an argument in here. Mm, that's just going to be needed to be an ID. Uh, this dot. No. To Gus. The, okay, so that's not what I need to do. Um, Prisma dot. Oh, you know what? We're just going to do... This is going to be a number. Represents the completion of an asynchronous operation. Generic type promise T requires one type arguments. All right, brain's not working, but that is all right. We will make it through, chat. Boom, 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 boom. That closes there. We're good here. Oh. Oh, well, we don't need that. Is that why we're getting mad? Okay, jeez. Never mind. We go this dot HTTP service dot axios ref <clears throat> there what was that now I'm sorry Gaston's voice there's no voice like none under like none other Oh, jeez. <clears throat> Sorry, chat. Uh... Well, on fingers, you can do this. I think realistically this should maybe kind of work. Oh, we need to put it in the controller. 
I was about to be like, all right, now let's test it out. But yeah, they ain't, they ain't going to do a damn thing. There's definitely quite a bit I need to get in here and re-clean up in my code. A lot of, uh, a lot of practice and test things. Uh, I'll call this game detail. And, yeah, we can actually provide the ID later. I just want to see if this actually works, and then we can clean it up around there. So, we don't need get game list. What did we call it? Um, Raji game. I'm liking it so far. Like, it's, it's my first, you know, little dance into it, so. But it's also my first ever, you know, using an ORM, so Th keep that in mind when asking my opinion, sockin' guy. Exactly. Just learning how it works, and I've been enjoying it. It's not bad. Uh, this was uh, Raj Oh, no, I'm a... Uh, get details. We'll call this. And... And that didn't work. Thank you, fingers. Oh, we don't have a type for this yet. No, that's that's not right. So Yeah, okay. We're going to run into an issue. Let's go back here. Let's go back to the docs. Because we're going to be getting all of this. I guess we can kind of just still use what we got here, right? Um, just data result, right? All that jammy. That don't break nothing, neato. And... No, stop. Oh, what the... Data result, yeah. Uh, 
We'll just keep any there for right now. We'll figure it out down the road. Um, try not to get my brain hung up on one thing for too long. That's legit like one of my biggest things, Chad, is like I, 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 I'll find myself just hanging on to one thing for too long and, and then just be like, no, I need to need to move on and get going because we've just been stuck here for way too long. And that's what that was probably going to happen. This dot game service dot uh, raw G game Is it Emily's? Is that how is that how it's said? Got to use the twenty minute rule. If you can't get past it in twenty minutes, go you basically go past it, kind of thing. If you're like stuck on it for more than twenty minutes, just move on to something else. It's a good rule if we're talking about the same rule, but. With streaming, sometimes it's more like a five to six minute rule where you're just like, all right, never mind, we're just going to move on. I don't want to bore you guys unless it's like absolutely detrimental to, to, the, to, to what we're building. I believe that's what you mean by the 20 minute rule. All right, return this dot game service dot Raji game. That's going to be returning us... Uh, all the information. No, I want the terminal. Dang it. All right. We're good there. I'm actually going to ask Mr. Postman politely to do something else for us, but I'm going to hide the screen so I don't... End up uh, doxing myself. Uh, oh, actually, here. We won't be doxing ourselves while we're setting up the endpoint to test, so I can show you guys that much. Uh, let's see. So this is game, game list. This is going to be game detail. Actually, you know what? We're going to call it details. Like that. Basically, they say under 20 minutes, you have not explored all your options. Over 20 minutes, you just frustrate yourself and don't learn anything. Yeah, I think that's perfect. So, so Chris and I actually discussed this the other day, BG. He, he has a lurk chat that he keeps an eye on, and if he sees something he can comment on, he does. He, he had to be like, oh, I wanted to apologize because I think you tried to talk to me the other day, but I can't even hear you. I just see chat, chat. And I was like, I see what you're doing. But I think that is a good point, too. You got you to gotta, you gotta think about what, what is your level of frustration and when does that happen? Uh, yeah, we can get rid of that line. Uh, return this, da, 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 da. Game details. Yeah, actually, let's, uh, let's test this out. Uh, hide the screen. Won't dox myself. Yep, I would have doxed myself. However, chat... Yeah, there's my fucking... Oh, excuse my language there. There's my API key just out in the open. Um, but... We did pull all of the information we need. Like here. Um, we'll scroll just above... Yeah, this is perfect right here. Alright, so this is the information we got. We asked for the individual game that we uh, that uh, we put in the uh, that ID that we grabbed randomly. That's coming out next month, and it happened to be a release of Grand Theft Auto Five, which you know they're always re-releasing that. 
but it's giving us all the information we need. Like I said, the, the background information, like, uh, uh, come on now. That's not what I wanted to do. Let me hide the screen so this thing doesn't reset. Uh, okay, we're good. And there's the picture we get. And that's what we would end up using in our, um, that's what we'll end up using for our, uh, our, our thumbnails on the front page. Uh, but I see how in streaming you have to speed it up. When in class at school, we use 10 minutes since, uh, is in class and instructors are limited. Makes sense, yeah. Zyzeb, what are you confused about, bud? Fuck, I'm lying around in bed now and having the urge to program. Socken guy, I have this weird thing when I'm at work doing my, like, daily IT things. I'm just like, man, I'd rather be at home coding. And, like, by the time I get home, I'm so burnt out that I have to, like, force myself to do it. It's... I I know what you mean. Like I'm working on other product, like pro, like projects and problems, and I'm like, man, I could like fix it by doing this and this. All right, cool. So we're getting we're getting the data we need now to to honestly populate the front end and do what we need to do. Um. Now we just need to kind of like start like separating. Um the IDs that we get, the list of IDs, which if we go back to here, yeah. <clears throat> we just need a way now to iterate over these IDs and get the information back. And then once we do that, we could literally start building the admin portal of the front end, I think. From there, we would start working on the the user front end. And then I think we would add users, user login. Actually, we might start doing user, user login. We might want to start doing that soon. We might, we might look into that next week. <clears throat> okay, stuff I talk about in Discord programming. Oh, fair. I haven't even, I, I haven't been live. I haven't had a chance to look at the Discord. Uh, same side projects are fun sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Not the project of mine right now. It's not. What are you working on? Is this is this work stuff that you're working on? Like work work stuff? Size up. That's kicking your butt. All right. So yeah, now realistically, we're able to pull. Yes, I'm sorry, bud. Yeah, we're getting a lot of information. Is this a different picture? Oh, that's God of How do we get how do we get God of War on that? And that's destiny. Why am I'm, I'm a little lost now on this one? Hmm. I'm going to figure out where what all this information is, chat. It's kind of confusing me. I'm also trying not to. There we go. That's as far as I need to go. Uh, hang on. I'm going to block the screen real quick. So we've got that. That is for this game. Oh, it is giving us w just a ton of information, I see. These are like... These aren't even relevant to... Yeah, it's giving us a bunch of extra information. Which is kind of weird. These are all the categories that it's in. 
All right, so screenshots. Are these Grand Theft Auto? Uh, it, it, it looks like Tron, but yes, it is actually indeed Grand Theft Auto, I'm pretty sure. Uh, maybe. Yeah, these are the new, like, the bikes and stuff they do in it. Okay, so... I don't know what that other information is. Like, oh yeah, like, why do we have, like, The Witcher here? Those are your screenshot images. Hang on, I'm gonna block the screen again, chat. Yeah, I don't know. Um, we're gonna have to. I think we're gonna have to sit down and really, really dig, uh, like pull apart, pull this apart a little bit, and figure out why we're getting the information we're getting. Cause it, or just at least understand what information we're getting. Um. Yeah, I broke it. I, I, I it's, it's, it's kind of working. It's kind of where it needs to almost be. It's not, it's not the, it's not the worst situation to be in, you know. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. Oh, man. Hang on one second, chat. All right, chat. I think uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna decipher some of the information that I'm getting from from this off stream, so I don't accidentally dox myself. And um, oh, geez, defy us all. We were we were we were just about to do the same thing to somebody else. Welcome. Why? Why does that always happen? Oh, oh, that's hilarious. Welcome, my friend. Thank you. Thank you for the raid. Dude, that's it's like, it, that's like a, a always, always, always happens kind of thing. How was your stream? We'll hang out for a minute. Welcome, raiders. Um... Yeah, let's 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 continue with the uh, with the outro. Raiders, welcome guys. We are actually on our way out as well. We will be uh, we will we. Uh, yes. Sorry, nothing to see here. Move along. Move along. Um, no, we were uh, we were we were working on our little weekend side project. So I appreciate uh, I appreciate the raid. I'm glad you guys are here. But we are going to send you on to. One of our, you know, we'll send you, we'll send you into good hands. Good welcome, warm, welcoming hands. Good just crunching uh, through this billing page, trying to get the, uh, the stipe element functioning. That doesn't sound like fun. That doesn't sound too thrilling at all. But guys, like I said, we are on our way out of here. I appreciate the raid. We're going to get a good raid going off from there. Um, I would appreciate if you guys could join the Discord if you haven't already. All of our new friends today that we've met, all of our new followers, I appreciate you guys. So glad to have you here. Here's a little blurb about ourselves. Again, if you guys have never been to the stream and you're new here and you're like, uh, look there, we got a bunch of people going on. Dalia Key, thank you for the follow. But yes, we're going to send you off to uh, CM Griffin, Mr. Griffin himself, a uh, good friend of ours. And um, yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys next week. Uh, BG will be back. Um, keep an eye out for him. He streams between the hours of 8 a.m. and uh, starts around 8, between 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. during the weekdays. And I am on the weekends. So keep an eye out for us there. And um, yeah, guys, we will see you soon. And again, much love. Appreciate y'all. Peace.